Hi, I recently had a student contact me and ask me how they can change the color of a pillow in a photograph from one color to another. In fact, they, they needed it to be in several colors. They were putting together an online advertisement and they wanted to offer the pillow in red, green, yellow, and so on, and thought that maybe the color picker would be the way to do it. And it turns out that really there's a function called colors colorize that can be used to change the hue of a particular layer. Let me show you how this works. Here's a cover that I was working on recently and I decided that I didn't like the color or the hue of the background here and I wanted to change it. So what I did was I go to colors on the menu and I go down to colorize. Here we get a pop-up dialog box where we get to set the uh, hue of the color. And if I slide the hue left and right, watch what happens to the color in the background of the book cover. It goes all the way through the color spectrum from red, yellow, to green, to blue, purple, and back to red again. So this is the way that I can change the hue of a layer. Now, the problem that exists though, let's cancel this, is that the pillow is just part of the layer. We don't want the entire layer to change color, so what we need to do is select the pillow out of the picture first before changing its hue and put it on its own layer. Let me show you how that might work. Here I've got an image with a picture of an apple. Now let's say we want to change the color of the apple. What I would do is I would cut it, cut it out and put it on its own layer. Notice I only have one layer right now. If I change the hue, let's go ahead and use colors, colorize, and change the hue, you can see the entire image changes. That's not what I want. I want to change the hue of just the apple. So what I do is I go into view, zoom to let's say somewhere around four to one so that I'm in nice and tight. That's too tight. Okay, we want to whoop, view, zoom. Let's try more like one to one. That's even too tight. View, zoom, one to two. There we go. Now we have a real nice close-up of this apple. So what I can do is I can pick the free select tool and I can do a very tight outline of the apple. By just clicking along its edge so that I could get a real tight copy. Here we can scroll down so that I can see the rest of the apple and I continue to draw my line around the edge of the apple. Here it's got a flat bottom and we keep drawing up the side until we have the entire apple outlined. Here I can scroll back up to the top to continue my outline of the apple. Here we go, and we'll get the stem. There we go. So we've got the apple outlined. Let's go ahead and view, zoom, fit image and window to go back to our original image. Now I'll go ahead and I'll say edit, copy that apple. I'll go over and I'll create a new transparent layer. Okay, I'm on that layer. I go edit. Actually, I can do select none to get rid of the marching ants. And then I can do edit, paste. Now I use the Move tool to move the apple over where it used to be. 
There we go. And I anchor that. Now that I've got the apple on its own layer, I can go and use my colors, colorize, and change the saturation of just the apple. Notice the rest of the image stays the same, but the image of the apple changes from red to green to blue to purple and back to red again. So we can change what shade we'd like. You can also play with the saturation. You could take color out or you can add it so we can make this a brighter red or a duller red. And we can change the brightness too if we want to perk that up a little. So let's say we want a very bright red and we want it just a little bit brighter. There we go. That's a very red apple indeed. So this is the way that you subtly change colors of a part of an image.